Can you pay the money? I, I learn. I'll answer your questions if you answer answer some of mine. Um, is Channel Television going to um, make any use of the dramatic evidence that's been supplied to it, such as the 94-page statement, the interim statement to Wiltshire by former police chief Graham Power? This isn't about that, though, is it? This is about the Treasurer trying to gain £68,000 in legal fees. Um, are you going to pay? Uh, well, it, it is about this. I mean, what we're looking at here is an entire chain of judicial corruption, which was partly involved in actually suppressing um, Graham Power. The judicial review application he made um, was um, improperly blocked by a directly conflicted judge who failed to declare that conflict of interest. Now, these are evidence matters in Channel Television and indeed the BBC in Jersey has been supplied with items of evidence of that nature and you and the rest of Jersey's mainstream media simply don't report it. Can you tell us why? Can you tell us, though, why you're accusing the court of being so corrupt? You know, why is it so corrupt in your view? Well, it, it's quite obvious. You don't really even need to know much about the law. Judges are not allowed to be conflicted. You know, everyone's familiar with the phrase, um, not only must justice be done, it must be seen to be done. And what that means is that judges uh, who run a court can't have any direct conflict of interest. So if you have a judge who, you say, is friends with directly conflicted parties or has publicly expressed support for one side, they can't then be an objective legal judge in a, in a, in a court case. But yet, that is the situation we have here. If it's on the record, for example, this particular judge, Commissioner Page, has expressed particular admiration for Michael Burt and Philip Bamash, both of whom are directly conflicted parties uh, in this case. So that's a, a clear-cut, unambiguous evidence example of why the judiciary in Jersey is conflicted and structurally unable to deal properly with these kind of cases. You say this is an attempt to bankrupt you so you can't stand for election in October. How much of a threat are you to the government? Well, I mean, who, who, who knows? Um, the point is that there might be some people in Jersey who might have liked to have voted for me now they won't be able to because, like Trevor Pittman and Shona Pittman, um, the establishment are using the weapon of bankruptcy against me to make sure that I couldn't even contest the election. And, you know, Sir Philip Balash, a friend of this judge, Commissioner Page, would be one of those election candidates. So would the directly conflicted Treasury Minister, Philip Joseph. So you have this kind of conflict of interests going on throughout the system, and it's the same device that they're using against me that they used against the Pittmans. And it's very interesting that this supposed debt arises from me trying to defend myself against all these oppressions that visited upon me from 2007 onwards when I was trying to expose and fight the child abuse cover-ups and other very serious cover-ups. And uh, I was trying my best to represent powerless victims in my constituency and I've been oppressed since then. And these supposed debts really all accrue upon me for having the nerve to have tried um, to defend myself. And it's very interesting that they appeared to have been forgotten about state debts until the day after the two deputorial seats were declared vacant when the Pittmans were bankrupted out of the states. And suddenly, after several years, these debts were resurrected and two enforcement officers came pounding on my door telling me that I had to turn up in court to try and fight this debt. And that was the very day after the two seats were declared vacant. So that effectively stopped me and intimidated me from being a candidate in either person action. So it's absolutely clear what the authorities are trying to do. What information are you trying to get from Google? Well, I mean, I've written to uh, Google, um, emailed them on several occasions now, seeking fuller, fuller disclosure of all of the communications they had from the Jersey authorities. It's absolutely clear um, from an accidental disclosure by Google that, in fact, the Jersey authorities were seeking to get my blog shut down, the entire URL taken off of the internet, from at least November 2008. That's about five months before they claimed the grounds for taking action against me ever arose. And the timing coincides with their illegal suspension of police chief Graham Power when I was the only voice in any of Jersey's media questioning, actually, the propriety of the sudden suspension of Mr Power and continuing to fight for the interests of child abuse victims. 
Now, it's very serious that the whole prosecution uh, was mounted against me afterwards on the basis of essentially false assertions and false claims by the Attorney General's office and by the Data Protection Commission's office. They never admitted that they had this previous long-term hidden agenda to try and get my blog shut down. Now, that's obviously a corrupt process. You've been refused leave to appeal, you've been refused an adjournment. What are you going to do now? What's the next step? Well, you can, uh, you can attempt to appeal, even though you get permission refused. You can seek to have that, in fact, overturned by the Court of Appeal. But, of course, in Jersey, the Court of Appeal is itself comprised of friends of the directly conflicted former Attorney Generals, uh, Philip Balash, Michael Burst, and William Balash. So, again, the same kind of problems will arise. So, one can't expect fair treatment either at appeal court level, but nevertheless, one will, uh, one will give it a try just to uh, entertain the value. So, what's your fate now? Will you keep fighting? Well, I mean, absolutely. Seeking to get the proper rule of law in Jersey is a clearly a long-term project and it's going to happen one day. You know? um, what people like me are fighting for is not especially radical. We want a separation of powers, a depoliticised judiciary, a depoliticised prosecution system and effective checks and balances so that the weak and the vulnerable in Jersey are properly protected in the rule of law rather than the powerful being able to cover up things. Thanks very much. Is there anything else you want to add? Well, I would still like to know when Channel Television are going to actually start reporting some of the evidence, such as the very, very serious public interest issues that arise in Graham Powell's statement. I expect when it arises in the inquiry.